Okay, to set up the hoops for the red line and rotary machine, you will need to press the preference box. And then in here, we are going to change this to DST. So you probably you won't have any hoops or maybe one or two hoops there will be, it will come as a default. If you want to erase them, uh, it's okay. If you want to leave them, it's, it's fine. Uh, basically what we need to do is to set up these hoops into the Embrillion software so you can see your uh, stitching area. Uh, normally we use round hoops on the Redline machine except for the V and this oval A. Uh, just uh, remember that when you choose a hoop on your on your embroider machine, you tell the machine uh, what hoop you're using uh, by displaying a letter on the control panel. So uh, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Now, all the uh, embroidery hoops normally uh, we use them or everybody use them as a centimeters. So as you can see right here are in centimeters, 30 by 30 centimeters, 19, 15, 12, and 9. Uh, in order to set up those hoops, we need to convert those centimeters into millimeters. So it, basically it's 19 centimeters will be 190 uh, millimeters, uh, 150 millimeters, 12, I mean 120 millimeters and 90 millimeters. Uh, so because the embryolians, in order to set up the hoops, uh, you will need to set it, set it up in millimeters. Now, we need to leave a space for the press foot. So basically we have two options, set up the hoop like the way it is, or reducing uh, 35 millimeters to leave the space for the press foot. In that case, I will recommend that because that means that you can uh, resize a hoop to the very limit of the hoop and it will stitch just fine because you already uh, uh, saving space for the press foot. So in this case, for example, the hoop D, which is uh, 15 centimeters, uh, it will be 150 millimeters. Uh, we will set up this hoop on 135 millimeters. So we will leave that little uh, space for the press foot. Okay. So uh, in order to do that, you will press. Uh, Okay, I will go back. Uh, you will press the preference uh, box right here, the preference icon right here. You scroll to DST and then you click on new and this window will pop up. And uh, the first uh, hoop it will be uh, the A and then we will type oval in order to not to be square. And the millimeters for the big, big hoop is going to be 535 by 335. And then OK. OK. And then new again. And then we're going to do the B. And I will put 30 by 30. That's the way I identify it. And you're going to put, uh, well, that will leave it as a square. And instead of doing 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters, we're going to leave that little space for the press foot. So it's going to be 285 by 285. And then OK. And then new. And then we're going to put the frame C, which is going to be 19 centimeters. And then the letter oval. And then this, instead of being 190 millimeters, we're going to set it up to 175 and 175 and then OK. And then we have the, uh, the frame D, which is going to be 15 centimeter oval. And then it's going to be, instead of 150 millimeter, we're going to put it on 135 by 135 and then OK the new and then letter E 12 oval 105 105 and then OK and then new and then F which is going to be my 
our nine uh, centimeter oval and then 75 by 75 okay and then our cap uh, frame uh, will be here cap it's going to be square so we don't put the uh, word oval and then 150 by 50 and that's going to be our frame for cap uh, if you want to see uh, the letter D, which I think is one of the most common uh, frames that you use, you're probably going to use 12 and 15. So when you click OK, and this is what you have. Now, if you digitize a logo, let's say a big circle right now, right here, and then I'm going to do this a fill stitch, uh, you can use uh, the whole area of the hoop that is showing on the screen and we're already having a little extra space for the press foot so or you can also here you got an option uh, let me go out of create you got an option to center and then you had an option to expand to the limits of the hoop you press this and it will expand it it will fit perfectly because we already have uh, some millimeters of space for the press foot okay Thank you.